Hello. This is Tooth Tukoski from the Tooth Tukoski family channel. As you can see, I'm in my gi and my belt. Uh, the tape always slides down on this. Um, there's supposed to be gaps in between the stripes. Uh, eighth dad and, and Shunjiru Kippo. Uh, my base style was uh, Shunjiru Kari. And, uh, of course, what I know about my martial arts journey, you have to check out that video. Um, it's Wednesday. This is my Wednesday video. This is about the life of Robert Allen Tias. Let me rephrase that. His actual name was Robert Alberto Tias. Then it became known as he became known as Robert Allen Trias, uh, and how my karate journey ties to him with my base style, the one that got me started into the martial arts, Shiryu Karate. Uh, it's me, of course, Timothy Likowski, uh from uh, Masters in Arts uh, from the. Uh, Timothy Kruski family channel. Wow. <laughs> I gotta clear my head and breathe when I do these videos. I have a little imbalance right now. My ears are a little clogged up, so pray for me on that one. Uh, but here we go. <clears throat> Robert Alberto Tiels. He was born on March 18th, 1923 in Tucson, Arizona. He's from the Hispanic heritage. He was the son of Jesus Barra Trias and Dolores. He has a sister named Christine and a brother named Jesus Ernest, who I understand are both still living. His parental grandparents were uh, Manuel Barra Trias, 1843 to 1924, and Josefa Barra Trias, 1852 to 1938. His name is traced to a villa in Asturias, which is north of Barcelona, Spain, and his surname among nobility in Catalunya, Spain. However, his name could have originated in Greece. His name was known, I say was known, uh, in the Spanish communities in Spain, the Philippines, Argentina, Mexico, Portugal, Singapore, Greece, and the American Southwest. He did not have a remarkable childhood that I could find, but I do believe he enjoyed it just the same. He was a star Boy Scout. At the age of 17, he joined the United States Navy. He fought in the Pacific Campaign during World War II. He was a first class petty officer, like I was. He had the rating of an aviation mechanic structural, aviation structural mechanic, which is uh, an AMS-1. And I had the rating of a, a master at arms, which is an MA-1. He, Robert on the TS, of course, uh, was a Golden Gloves boxer in the Navy. And I was on the Navy Cardi team. Sorry. Switch from pages. It's easier for me to type up something and then talk on the videos, okay? He earned his first black belt certificate in 1943 while stationed in the Solomon Islands. It was under the instruction of Teng Tungi Hissing who was a master of Hisingi and Shoite. Then later 
During the war, he trained in Shiru Kenpo under the uh, student of Kishin Funakoshi in Okinawa. Then in 1944, while stationed in Singapore, he trained with Ho Yang Ping uh, in Jiu Jitsu, who was from the realm of the Hashi Sukaka clan of the Tenchu Singo School of Kenpo of Japan. I'll try, try to say that ten times fast, you know. It was a Hashi H A S H I N O S U K A Fukata Clan. Okay? So that that's his uh, that was his martial arts uh uh initial martial arts training. <clears throat> okay. He returned home from the war in 1945. He founded the first Shiru school of Kari in 1946 in Phoenix, Arizona. This is why he thought, why I understood, he taught Sensei Jess Mills. And Jess Mills opened up a dojo, of course, in Chicago and then Open up the Quad City School of Judo and Karate uh, down here at Moline, Illinois, where I'm from, in uh, 1962. And then he taught uh, Shiryu Kempo, Jiu Jitsu, and Judo. And in 1976, this was before my 11th birthday, so I was 10, uh, I joined the Karate uh, Dojo in the Quad Cities. Yeah, I wasn't getting uh, uh, promoted because he did not promote, uh, uh, really did not promote children. We didn't really have a children's program. Uh, so, that's why my other notes, it says 81 to 85. That was actually my promotion years, okay? <clears throat> um, but I did join it uh, with the coupon book. It was five free lessons in the coupon book, and I'm walking home from Garfield Elementary School and I see this coupon book in the mailbox and I walk in the kitchen my mom is uh, scrubbing the floor, old school, you know, hands and knees scrubbing the floor and I say, Mom, can I join the Cardi Dojo? What Cardi Dojo? Uh, right here. Uh, Cardi City School of Juno Cardi, downtown of Moline, Jess Mills. Five free lessons. And that's what got me started in Shiru, and I'm tied, of course, to Shiru under um, Grandmaster Robert A. Trias. Uh, okay. Of course, now I'm working towards my master's red belt, and uh, Robert on the Trias would he would come to the dojos. Uh, um, and, and promote us and, and that was really cool uh, I first met Robert Lana T.S. in 1981 uh, which was like 8 years before his, his uh, death um, I'll get to that here uh, in a minute <clears throat> okay Anyway, shortly after Robert Alberto Trias founded the first credit dojo in the United States, uh, he founded the United States Credit Association. I believe this is in 1948 when it was officially founded. Uh, and I already mentioned that part, okay. He was truly an amazing man. I mean, that, that is without saying. I mean, he was truly an amazing man. To, to bring Karate here to the United States and, and, uh, and to promote it like he did, that, and, and what really got big out here in, in especially in Illinois, I believe, around the Midwest area, because it was really 
coming down here from Chicago to Moline and down in Peoria. It was it was really big out here in the Midwest area. <coughs> okay. Back to uh, Robert Amatrias' life. Okay. He made Jane Rita Ackenberg in 1947. Their only child was Roberta Jane Chias, who's now known as Roberta Chias Kelly, uh, who was born in 1948. He worked as a boilermaker apprentice for the Southern Pacific Company from 1937 to 1939. He worked for the same company after his apprentice training as a boilermaker from 1939 to 1942. Hence, that's when they joined uh, the war. And then he started learning karate. And that became his passion. That became his life. Okay? The essence of karate. The essence of Shiri Ryu. Okay? Okay, now, he passed away, died, of cancer. Cancer is a terrible thing, my friends. Terrible thing. On July 11th, 1989. He was a 10th Dan Grandmaster, and he only promoted, I believe, five people uh, the Grand Master or honored as Grand Master to wear the uh, the Grand Master's pine tree patch. In our dojo, we had a, a pine tree patch. You know, it was a rank patch. It was on our sleeve. Um, I got my the root patch on this one. Uh, my pine tree patch is, was on one of my my first gi. My first gi, uh, either my mom has it or got lost somehow or something. Um, but I haven't not been able to find that patch uh, in a while. Um, that was my uh, coup patch. Uh, my root uh, that was. And that was my coup patch, my junior patch, my senior patch, my black belt patch, which is a black pine tree. The coup, coup patch is a white pine tree. And the as a matter of fact, I sh might show you some pictures of it. I, I could flip my notebook open uh, and, and show you pictures of the patches I'm talking about here. Yeah, um, my notebook here. I believe that would actually be in my other notebook. Yeah, it would be. Um, I usually don't like. I I want to try to keep going because I don't want you guys to lose interest in my videos. Uh, you know. And uh, yeah, matter of fact, you go. Camera book carefully. Can you go see? That was a, a basic student coup patch, see? It's a white pine tree, Shiru. And then the uh, dance student. Uh, that one got lost on uh, a gi that was stolen. Um, you know, who was still a gi, but my, my bag literally got stolen. I had my wallet in that bag and everything, lost a lot of money that day in my bag. It was, it was just shortly after payday in the Navy, and one of the shipmates stole it off my rack when I was coming back uh, uh, from um, training in, at the Kempo School, and I was I didn't have a, a Kempo gi yet. Uh, my Kempo gi was, was also stolen. Jeez. And when my bag was st when my bags were stolen, then I ended up buying a, buying a Kenpo bag. I ended up buying a new y, uh, y bag, which I still have. Uh, instead of the navy colors, it was the Marine Corps colors. But anyway, I, I, I just just think about all the things that were stolen, and then that's the chief instructor patch. Um, and Jess Mills was one of the five the five people that actually earned this patch. I, I know three names, but I don't, I can't recall the other two. Uh, I, I believe it was, it was, you know, my, my son said Jess Mills, 
um, uh, Master Melton and uh, 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 Master uh, Grandmaster now uh, uh, Boils B O W E L L E S Boils Boils Boils. <coughs> okay. Now go back to this. So they got to see the, the patches. That's pretty cool, right? Okay. Now, that was pretty much the life of what I could find, all, all that research. I couldn't find a lot about them. But that was the, the life I could find. Now I call this part my epilogue. Okay. <clears throat> it saddens me that as I was on vacation this summer and visiting dojos, at least calling them, okay, in Arizona, no one heard of Robert A. Trias, the father of American karate, the creator of Shiri Wu, and the founder of the United States Karate Association. But no one heard of him. WTF. And the so-called Shiriru Karate Schools, they're a, a watered down now. Much of it is practically non-existent. It became sports karate. I thought I did find a Kakushin card dojo in one instance. But no traditional Shiriru schools that I could actually find. This is extremely sad to me. I was not able to find out much about Roberta T.S. Kelly either. I believe she might still be teaching uh, Shiru in a home, but I can't be certain of that. But I do know she was the co-author of the book entitled Essence of Shiru, which I do have. Alright? Now think about that. that. That saddens me, my friends. That saddens me. You got to see the picture of the patches. You got to learn a little bit about the life of Baba Anatrias. Uh, comment down below uh, what you think about Baba Anatrias, his life. Uh, and uh, keep following me on, on, on YouTube. Get some more people to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe. Uh, like people say, comment, like, and subscribe, right? And um, I, I guess that's it. Um, so blessings always. And uh, have a great day. Collections of Robert Lyon and TS. And also, you can follow me on Facebook if you'd like to. Uh, Timothy Lukowski. That's my name on Facebook. Alright. I'm saying a moment uh, a prayer uh, for Robert Lyon and TS who's up there uh, in heaven. Um, and may uh, Shiru uh, not be lost forever. Amen.